So why does everyone associate Wukong with Goku? Anyway, to counter him, pick someone like Lee Sin, since not only will he be able to track Wukong even through the Shrouds of Invisibility, but also because he can kick him away when he ults. Darius is also pretty good at keeping him at bay with his E, and you'll notice that the clone doesn't have any blood stacks on him. Pantheon, if he manages to wait for his passive, can also then combo him out of the lane pretty quick. Garen for his silence and speed boost, Renekton for his stun and general tankiness, and Olaf for his CC immunity make other good counters as well. Wukong's passive grants him armor and magic resistance for each nearby visible enemy. His Q is an auto reset that also reduces the target's armor for 3 seconds by up to 30%. His W creates a clone of himself that will completely stop moving and perform a circular attack after 1.5 seconds dealing magic damage. He goes invisible by this time and can move freely. His E makes him dash to a target dealing physical damage and striking up to 2 additional enemies. He also gains attack speed after striking for a brief period of time. Finally, his ultimate makes him start spinning and gains movement speed for 4 seconds. Enemies that are first struck by it get knocked up. This guy's combo is insanely fast and deals a lot of damage. And it goes like this. W to get near you if he needs to, E to dash to his target, auto attack, and then instantly Q right after. If he hasn't used his clone, he might do it now to get out without being touched. In terms of spells, you might see him run either teleport or ignite, but you might also see him in the jungle, although this guide is if you're finding him top lane unless you want to play Garen jungle. You should always play teleport versus teleport in my opinion, but if you want to try and counter his ignite, exhaust or cleanse also work. As for power spikes, his level 2 with just his E and Q is a pretty hard damage dealer. His level 6 is also pretty amazing, since it'll unlock his true team fighting CC potential, knocking everyone up. He's a really strong early and mid game champion if he goes for raw damage, but can also be potent late game if he tanks it up a bit. If he goes for lethality with Yomus and Dustblade, then you can say bye bye to your AD carry, cause you won't see him for a while. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, don't clump up together as a team to avoid a general knockup. His Q reduces your armor for 3 seconds, so try not to trade back for a while after he's used it, and don't be fooled into ulting or spelling a decoy please. Ultimately, have fun doing it.